That's in gear. That's out of gear. So like I've messed up enough times on the wrap, I've learned how to do it. So. That's how I've gotten through life. <laughs> My car weighs about 1,250 pounds. I know that motor makes way over 800 horsepower. Race close, you might even bang a few wheels, but you know everybody's gonna put their car on the trailer and have a beer. So this is Gina Scratch's newest car. And here's Butch. Howdy, Butch. How you doing? I'm doing good. And I don't know if you realize how much I appreciate you doing all that for Genius Scratch. Oh, I really enjoyed it. I love working on sprint cars and um, I can't wait for us to go out and have some fun. Yeah, we're going testing what, in two weeks? Yeah, uh, what is it, the 15th or something? Something like that. Sunday, yeah, we're gonna go to uh, Lincoln Park Speedway and take a few laps and let Casey shake the car down. <laughs> and uh, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, I've driven a Silver Crown once on asphalt and the dune buggy a bunch like an idiot. And I'm hoping that those two skills somehow translate and you kick my ass into shape the rest of the way. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay, let's check out this car. <laughs> so we got yours here looking awesome in blue, obviously. Yeah. And you and uh, Mike built that frame, I think. Yes. And then boom, here's this looking amazing. Yeah. So J and J roller originally. Right. Early nineties, non down tube car. Right. And then uh, so you went a little wild on this thing. Well, I, I tell you what, when we got the car and everything, there's it's a certain standard that I want to build the car to because yep. I want it to be safe, I want it to be competitive. So I tore it completely down to the frame and we replaced quite a few parts on the drivetrain and went through the rear end and everything. Um, uh, it's got a 410 all aluminum uh, engine in it, Chevy, so it uh, uh, pulls about 820 horsepower. Um, just, Make you, you know, just going through it, making it, making it nice. Originally, Genius Garage had a 410, uh, <laughs> 410 engine that were for a sprint with individual rider base that came out of the Indy car we had. And it lost oil, it was still together. And we're like, oh, we can rebuild that. Turns well, out. Well, Casey came to me and he said, I got this 410 <laughs> and it lost oil pressure and it may have a little damage done to it. Well, when I took it apart, pretty much everything inside the motor was destroyed. Um, fuel system was still okay. Oil pump was locked up. It had chips and stuff. Was in it? it? But that was pretty bad. Yeah. So we can't use that engine. I mean, we'd have to completely replace it. In fact, it broke a connecting rod and hit the side of the block. It's going to have to be pressure checked and a lot of things done to it. So um, the best thing we did was is when he bought this roller, it had an engine in it, and which is really a good uh, aluminum 410. And so he decided to. Uh, Instead of fixing the um, cast iron Chevy to go ahead and just purchase this and, and keep it in the car. Yeah, it made sense. Well, yeah, I haven't even seen it with the engine cover off yet. Well, and the motor's current. We could run it in, what all series do you run? You run you a can run, You can run USAC with it. You can run uh, all the local 410 stuff. You can run all over the country with That's this cool. car the way it is, yeah. Well, it was exciting too for me. So as you guys know, this is Genius Garage's car, the 51C3. And the reason I wanted to do it is, so Genius Garage, you got the Daytona prototype and the Imsa Corvette and Lotus Exosphere. And those are all cool road racing cars, but there's a hell of a lot to learn from sprint car that's just not reflected in road racing. And I wanted to get the guys involved. And frankly, I wanted them to be able to meet you guys and run and learn from you all. But also I think it's an important part of American racing history to be involved with, you know? Yeah, you know, sprint car racing is grassroots racing, and uh, it's, uh, I mean, you can run two, three nights a week if you want, all over the country, anywhere, there's dirt tracks everywhere, and um, with the formulas they have and stuff, I mean, uh, you can, it's, it's, it's great, it's just good racing. Oh yeah, for sure. So Butch, what's, uh, how much does this thing weigh, you think, and how much power do you think it makes? You know, I haven't had it on the scale, so I can't really tell, but I know it's been lightened up quite a bit because we did use some titanium fasteners and uh, changed some stuff on it, you know, to lighten it up. Um, I do know the engine. Um, that's an original engine from, um, uh, oh. Uh, Is it Davy Jones? Uh, no, Levi Jones. Levi yeah. Jones. yeah, that was Levi Jones' original engine uh, built by... Um, uh, the gentleman that makes the angler. angler and I know that motor makes way over 800 horsepower and I, I pulled the pan off and checked it out and everything it's got really good parts in it good so I think you're I think you're gonna be really happy with it that's awesome okay so what kind of ballpark for everybody watching these things typically weigh well I, I like my car weighs about 1250 pounds <laughs> So um, I would imagine this is probably a little bit heavier, maybe mm -hmm. maybe 13, 50, maybe 100 pounds heavier. This still crushes 
everything Genius Garage has power weight ratio. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. You'll find that out when you go test it. <laughs> <laughs> On the dirt, too. It, it's just a blast. There's nothing better than dirt sprint car racing, that's for sure. Yeah, for sure. Well, it's neat, too, because um, for everybody that's watched the Indy Roadster that we're all doing, um, the lineage is the same. The same basic tech and the springs and the bird cages and the nature of suspension all. So it's exciting to see that. Yeah. Well, you know, like this car here, it isn't a down tube car because you're running it in a throwback, Midwest oh, throwback man. sprint car series. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, I mean, as far as everything else on it, it's exactly like a current, you know, I mean, um, a down tube car, uh, you know, the, that everybody runs. The only difference is it isn't a down tube. It's just, sure. a, you know, that's the only difference. So if I can wheel it and keep it one piece and we're uh, half smart with the students, it'd be pretty fast. Oh, yeah. It's going to be real fast. Yep. So Midwest Throwback Series, you, you run the series. Where are we running this year? Uh, the first race is at Gas City, Indiana. The uh, next race is at Champaign, uh, Illinois at the fairgrounds. They have a, a nice little quarter mile track there. And then this year we're going to run a couple races at Terre Haute Action Track on the half mile, which I'm interested in that because uh, that's a fast track. And uh, they just ran the USAC Silver Crown cars there last night, and uh, they tore up a lot of equipment. So <laughs> I hope we don't do that. I don't want anybody to get hurt, but uh, it's going to be a blast running on the half mile. That's awesome. For sure. Awesome. Well, thank you. What, what, what else should we look at this on here? What's cool to see for, for new people watching on sprint cars? Well, I don't know. I mean, it looks just, damn good. Just a basic sprint car. I thought this is uh, throwback. I see carbon here. What's that all about? I, no I, idea. Uh, yeah, That's I, fancy I, aluminum is what it is, right? Hey, there's no rule against it, so, you know. <laughs> well, when, I don't remember yeah. when you originally sat in this car. Yeah. Um, you had the different seat, and you were all kind of scrunched up, and the steering wheel was hitting the dash. Yeah. So we fabricated up a new dash, kind of more modern style, to where it sticks out. To where you have enough uh, you know, oh, yeah. room for the wheel. That's and, a good point. So, and then uh, you got your new Max Pappas steering wheel. I know your dad was all in love with that, so I was oh, like, we ought to get that. Wheel. They are nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I fit in this a lot better than Andy O'Gara's Silver Crown <laughs> when oh, I yeah. drove he's, that. He's a little guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's got the knee uh, protection in there. I've got yep. the torque tube protection. Uh, full containment seat. I for mean, sure. Which, you know, is going to be be awesome for you you'll be able to feel the car better with that seat. oh yeah you got to drive with your butt okay so for you, george i don't know if you can see all this but okay so for you people that don't get to watch sprint cars to see and everything else obviously quick release steering but i want to show you some wild things about it and how simple it is so there's no clutch in this thing right it's not nope. a silver crown car no clutch so that you just you got one gear and you got quick change gears in the rear and the lockout george you can back up just a little bit here that's in gear that's out of gear that's it. That's it. This is your fuel valve. Fuel is off right now. That's full fuel on. When you go to warm it up, but you're saying you can keep it a little lean like that. Yeah, lean it Do it manually just to warm, to warm it up. So fuel off right there. And there's a switch to either have your magneto work or not work. So ignition on or off. That's it, you guys. The brake pedal, your foot sits down here with the heel rest. Here's the brake pedal and you push it forward. And then the gas pedal is not really a pedal. Your heel heels here at the same time, and you push straight down. And also, if it were to stick or something, you can lift up on it. But you push straight down for the gas, and it works out nice. And they said that it's really nice too because they got the knee pads and everything in there, which you need because if you go ejecting the thing out of the ballpark, yeah, they'll they'll get to. Rip. We don't want to do that. No, we're not going to try to do that. We're, we're not going to wind the right way on the right. <laughs> you know, it's not a thing. The good thing is, is the group of guys that you're running against, it's not... So the USAC kids, they have big sponsors. Yeah. And they can just throw it in there and they pull slide jobs all the time. These uh -huh. guys, these are working guys that want to have fun and put on a good show for the fans. Yeah, and you got some and good drivers in there. Exactly. You know, and we might even have uh, John Stambro. He might come out of retirement and drive a, cool. drive a car at Terre Haute. And he's... He was one of the best at one time. So. That sounds awesome. Yeah. So, in other words, you you got guys that would prefer to roll their car onto the trailer. Yeah, they want to they want to race close. You might even bang a few wheels, but you know everybody's going to put their car on the trailer and have a beer. Well, that's perfect, and that's that's the right that's the right right environment for Genius Garage because yeah. we're doing this to be able to teach students and help them with their careers, yeah. not just to tear up machinery. Because I'd rather the money go to the students and helping them out and get somewhere than just uh fixing broken stuff for no good reason exactly so yeah it's gonna be a good show so guys look up midwest throwback you're on facebook right book yeah you find I'm them there facebook, yep. 
And uh, we're going to go out. I'm going to show you guys that. But tonight, I just wanted to kind of give you a rundown. George, did you get a beautiful shot for everybody? Uh, the car. I'll put in some pictures. Oh, oh. But Mikey, this is really pretty wrap. Actually, that looks really nice. It looks like paint. You're going to fall. You're going to fall. I've... I, it's it's learning by the process of messing up. So like I've messed up enough times on the wrap, I've learned how to do it. So. That's how I've gotten through life. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are like, oh, you wrap? And I'm like, no, no, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> Don't let them know. <laughs> so here's a thought. So Midwest Throwback is, is a, I think, a really approachable way to get into sprint car racing. Yes. So Butch, you want to answer that on new people potentially coming out or bringing out an old car or something? Yeah, and our and our uh, really our only rules are this: is the car has to be a non-down tube, okay, and um, it, any engine is allowed, and uh, there's no tire rule, and you have to have the latest seat belts and you know containment seat, all the safety stuff. Uh, now the new, uh, like on my car there, I have the extra bar on the roll cage, the new safety bar. It's not mandatory on these cars, but oh, those. It, okay. it's smart to do it, and and so you know. But um, yeah, it's, you know, I mean, it's, it's bring your car out and run it. And, and like I say, we're out there racing, we're out there putting on a good show. And like Mike said, but we're not out there trying to kill each other either. Yeah. You know, we're out there to have a good time and that's what it's all about. I mean, it's a bunch of older guys and uh, we still have the, the passion for racing and it's what we want to do. Well, and it's going to be out there with other series and such too. So if right. you come out to one of the race nights with that, what other potential racer series might be out with us too? Well, I think the last race at Terre Haute, we run with the Silver Crown cars again, USAC huh? Silver Crown cars. I think the race before that, we run with some modifieds. Um, we'll run at Gassy, the 410, the, the big dog sprint okay. cars will be there. We'll be there. Uh, they have like Hornets and stuff running and everything. So, um, yeah, it's uh, there, there's four or five classes will run there that night. And um, so, it, uh, you know, you get quite a bit of racing. It's a lot of cool. fun. All right, we'll have fun. Well, guys, check out Genius Garage, of course. Uh, got new students coming and whatnot. A lot more fun. Obviously, Midwest Throwback Series and uh, Legacy Autosport. We are where we are right now. Who are running road Indy cars? Uh, Simon Sykes doing great in the championship. Me doing a little testing, and you never know who else is going to come out. So um, that's it, guys. See you next time. Thank you, sir. No problem. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>